With us right now, we have Coach Olery. How are you, Coach Olery? Good, how are you? I'm great. So this past week, you played two of the toughest um, teams in the conference. They were a little rocky. You got lost both games, but you guys were in it, especially with your first match on Friday, tying multiple times throughout the game. You were right step and step with the team the entire time. What does that show about the potential of your team? Yeah, um, we mentioned a lot this year that we were young with nine freshmen and sophomores, um, but what I really saw this weekend from our team um, was we didn't play our opponent, uh, we played our game, and it didn't matter that they were the top two teams in the conference. I thought the girls did a good job of coming out, um, executing high when we needed to. We had some downtime, but um, you know the ball control was there against Friday against St. Louis and um, allowed us to get in system. Um, we just got to make sure we're terminating balls. So we saw really good, a lot of positive things, um, but we just want to make sure that they come out and play our game every single time we step on the court. And like you mentioned, you have nine freshmen on your team, very, very young team. What do you think it's going to take, and how long do you think it's going to take for this team to play at the level that St. Louis and Dayton is at? Because you guys definitely have the potential to do so. Yeah, um, I think every day we come in with the mindset that we're going to get better. Um, we're one step closer to that. You know, um, We have three matches left this season for sure, and we just want to see them leave it all out on the court. And I know I say that quite a bit, but it really is the potential's there. they got to believe it. Uh, they got to take that next step forward and just do it. Like you said, you have three matches left, and your last home match is actually this weekend. What are you guys looking to do coming in to play Rhode Island? Yeah, we already played them once this year. Uh, we went four with them, um, had some ups and downs, but we really saw our, our potential. So I'm hoping the girls just come out and execute our side, um, focus on the things we've been focusing on um, for the rest of the week, or we will be focusing on the rest of the week, and just play volleyball. Have fun, go after it, compete, um, be competitors. And lastly, this is going to be your senior night for your three seniors. How has it been coaching them, and what are they like in the team? Like, what impact do they have? Great kids. Um, I'm very lucky to have them in this program. Um, you know, they weren't my recruits, but they did a really good job of buying in and stepping up and, you know, um, being good teammates. And I think that, you know, what they have done here is going to continue to grow in the future. Great. Thanks so much, Coach, and good luck. Thank you. And now with us, we have freshman outside hitter, Brianna Jones. How are you, Brianna? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm pretty great. So you had you faced the two toughest teams in the league this past week. What was it like on the court, and how was the chemistry among you guys? You guys did lose, but you guys fought hard. What was it like on the court among your teammates? Absolutely. Um, we did play two of the toughest teams. Um, I was really proud overall of how we played. Um, I would say that we stuck with them um, pretty much throughout the game, those last two five points or so, three or five points. Um, we could have pushed harder. We could have executed more. But um, overall, I was really proud of how we played. We fought really hard, and we didn't uh, give up. We had really great team chemistry those two games, and it just showed on the court. But should have got the win. But okay. And you have a last home game this upcoming weekend. How has it been like playing here at the Rose Hill Gymnasium? Um, absolutely incredible. I know I've been absolutely overwhelmed and so blessed to have such a great freshman year. I mean, I can't believe it's almost over my freshman season, but um, honestly, I'm taking, I'm still taking it all in, but it's been a great experience and I couldn't have asked for anything better. And you guys are playing Rhode Island. What are your goals and mentality? Obviously, you would like to end on a win at home. What are you guys going to work on in order to obtain that win? Absolutely. Um, I think this week we're definitely going to stay defense-minded. Defense um, throughout the game, uh, just executing those small, finer points. We stick with Rhode Island. We've played them before. We know we're, what's coming at us. So I think just taking that all in and really preparing mentally as much as physically for those little challenges that we'll face against them, I think we'll bring out the win. And lastly, since it's your last home game, that means it's going to be senior night for the three seniors on your team. What have they been like towards you? You've only been with them for a year, but how have they impacted you? Absolutely. Um, the year with the seniors has been incredible. Um, I know coming in, I was a little apprehensive, you know, just new setting, new place, um, but the seniors really stepped in and made it such an easy transition. They are great leaders, but they're also great friends. I know I can go to them for anything. So I think all of us, I can speak for the team that we just want to go out and we want to play hard for them. This is their last time in the gym, and I know it's going to be really emotional, but we're going to use that emotion to bring out the win for our whole team. So, Great. Thanks so much, Brianna, and good luck. Thank you. And that's it for this week's volleyball edition of Rams Roundup. Thank you to our guests, Coach Olery and Brianna Jones. A reminder that the Rams play this Saturday at home their last 
game at home senior night against Rhode Island. It's scheduled to be streamed online at, at Atlantic 10 Digital Network, but just in case it's not able to be streamed because of the football game, you can go to the Fordham Volleyball Twitter in order to catch live updates. I'm Sabrina Sitton, WFUV Sports. See you next week.